everyone. Kitty Chang's my name. I'm on the online prosperity show. Today, I'm going to be sharing with Prosper about my book and my business and how you can balance before juggling your different areas of life, particularly your health and your wealth. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And I've brought you today the health coach and nutrition specialist, Kitty Chang. Kitty, how are you doing today? Hey, Prosper. I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, it's been a long time coming. I mean, obviously, we met, what, was it a year ago? And now we've actually finally got to sit down. Now, if you're watching the show right now, you would appreciate that your health and your nutrition is of utmost importance. And if you couple that with wealth, it then becomes a total package. Now, Kitty, who's with us today here, was born in Hong Kong, and then she migrated to Melbourne when she was only 14 years old. Now, she's a happy lady, and she's all giddy, but it wasn't always like that. You know, her life journey has taken her down various roads um, with different twists and turns. And she was actually born with a hole in her heart with, you know, uh, congenital uh, defects and had dad who was overweight at that particular time, died of cancer. And she had to go through all of that um, when she was only 16 years old. Now, as a result, she's always uh, wanted to make a difference in people's health and she's um, totally guiding people to study health, well-being, and also psychology. She's also recently um, published her first book, which is Juggling Health and Wealth, How to Actually Keep All Your Balls in the Air Successfully. And she's now dedicated to making a difference and adding value to a lot of business owners and professional people in the corporate world by actually helping them understand how they can live happy, healthy, and a fulfilled life. Now, Kitty, I could go on and on and on talking about your accolades and everything else that you've done. You could tell us a little bit about what you know your business is all about. And um, yes, what is it that you actually do? Great. Well, thank you for that introduction, Prosper. I really appreciate that. With my business, I for the first seven years now, I have been helping people to focusing on losing weight and that has been really good in terms of you know um, the, the weight management side of um, people's lives but then more and more I realized that as I work with my clients that you know we have a holistic health which means that we have spiritual emotional mental social and physical health and I always use this um, anchor action which looks like this <laughs> which means you know spiritually mentally emotionally physically which is our body and socially which is our community and relationship all of these five dimensions of health and wellness need to be balanced in order for us to be healthy because even though you know people may be helped in the past uh, for me to help them with their weight management on the physical health um, that has been you know the the bread and butter if you like of my business i find that you know it's very important uh, for people to look at the other areas as well so that's why when i started writing this book i thought that is so important to do uh, you know um, the five dimensions um, and also because my dad um, has had a really big influence on me since a very young girl. He was very, very wealthy, very, very successful. His business was like, you know, all over the world. Yet he worked 80 to 100 hours a week, which means that us kids, me and my two younger brothers, never really got to see him much. And so that really had an imprint in my life uh, in terms of, you know, uh, understanding the importance of balance you know prosper that's basically why you know i'm actually building this business i'm doing workshops i'm doing retreat i'm doing you know uh, coaching to help people to have this five dimensions of health but also five pillars of wealth which i can talk a little bit about later absolutely absolutely and um you know my condolences for you having lost your um, father who was, you know, a um, really big influence to your life right there. So you would understand that people that are, you know, in this day and age, we are working too much and it's, it's really, really difficult for you to have 
all cylinders firing at um, you know the, um, the, the 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 same time. If you really want to have a successful career, you'd have to let go of of something. You know, you'd have to maybe let go of the family time, or you'd have to let go of um, any particular um, you know things that would go in the way of you reaching the pinnacle of success within your business. How do you actually find this balance? Yes, well, to me, balance is very important. Um, so when I say, you know, juggling or um, being able to keep all your balls in the air successfully, I'm talking about having balance before juggling rather than the other way around. Juggling, you know, if you think about it, it's so hard. You know, so many people, they have so many different areas of their lives that they need to juggle. So to do that, I always talk about the one thing. In terms of business, you need to actually focus on the one thing. You know, there is a book called The One Thing. I don't know whether you've heard of it, Prosper. Yes, yes I have. An amazing book, and that has had such, uh, you know, an impact in me because I have um, been through burnout. I've been through doing so many things, you know, whether it's business, family, and um, I, I was involved in a lot of not-for-profit and charity work as well. So from that point onwards, I started, you know, Asking myself, like, you know, when my dad was working so hard to the point that he became so sick and spiraled down to have cancer and he was overweight, he was obese and all of that. Do I want to go down that track again? No, 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 I didn't. I don't. I don't want to do that. So that's why I started working on, you know, balance in my life. And as I studied psychology, I understood that, um, in order to have balance, I really need to focusing on like focus, focus on one thing, maximum two or three, but like one, you know, is is what I need to focus on. And I would encourage, you know, the um the people that are watching this to consider that as well. Great stuff. So a lot of people, um, you know, when they start their own business or when they go. Uh, into a venture that you know takes up much of their time they sacrifice on sleep and um, you know them being functional within themselves how important really is um, having a balance with managing your resources especially the energy that comes from sleeping Great question. Yes, yeah, sleep is so important. Um, well, if we don't actually have enough sleep, then it will actually affect you know our day to day living. And in fact, sleep has been shown that um, if we actually don't have enough, then basically whatever that we do, we we just don't have the energy, right? A friend of mine who wrote a book about sleep, and she talks about this um, rat, you know, the little uh, mouse, the rat, that. There's been um, research and also experiment that's been done that if they don't sleep, like put them on, you know, a certain type of drug and they don't sleep for three days, then they will just go around the circle and not being able to do things. And as human beings, even more so, because if we don't, within a few days, then we start, you know, having that, you know, fuzzy feeling and then later on we'll probably die within a very short period of time if we don't get enough sleep or not sleep at all. So um, that's the one thing. And then the other thing is obviously nutrition and uh, exercise and the mindset as well, because mind, uh, body and, you know, our spirit are all connected together. So, yeah. Absolutely. When you just mentioned about the rats that don't sleep, I just thought maybe that is the meaning of the rat race. <laughs> the rat, yeah, that's, true. that's right. That's <laughs> We're talking about the rat race, uh, you know, we just yeah. keep on doing without you know, resting. Rest and restoration is one of the most important. That's right. Great. So when people start, you know, you know, gaining that sleep and they are balancing, you know, their, their work, life, kids and everything else, um, isn't there burnout that um, gets reached because everybody's just really trying to tap into their full potential? How do you help people to um, go past that? Yes, that's why in terms of health, it's not only just about the physical, which we uh, touched a little bit about sleep, about food, about, you know, exercise. And that's the other part is the mindset. When it comes to mindset, we really need to be mindful of what is important in our life. And I always talk about mindfulness in terms of right this moment. We don't think about the past and we shouldn't worry about the future. 
right where we are is where we should be focusing on. So basically what that means is while you are playing with your kids, play with your kids. While you are working, focusing on that. While you are doing, you know, um, whatever work, so be there, you know, wherever you are, be there. So that's the one thing principle as well. Um, so we are doing this um, interview, we're chatting away. So now I'm focused with this chat. It's so important. Um, so that's, you know, um, the sort of mental side of things, because otherwise, um, it will be affecting us if we're so worried and regretting about the past and all worried about the future. So we have to be right here at this moment, at the present. And that's why, you know, have you heard of this saying that, uh, you know, the past is gone, the future is not yet. Right now is what we've got. That's why it's a gift. And that's also why it's called the present. Absolutely. Um, that reminds me of uh, Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now. Wow, I love that book. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So all of this has to dwell with, um, you know, like you say, mindset, um, self-awareness and, um, you know, being mindful. What, why then would you really need to dwell into all of this when all you can do is just maybe um, plug into you know, maybe read a book and just relax with your family. Um, what's the whole relevance in, 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 in learning all of these things? Yeah, well, the, the relevance is that in reality, you know, we have different roles, you know, you would be a father, you would be a husband, you have a, you'd be a business owner, like, you know, a friend. So the relevance is that if we are able to know right at each moment what our role is then we'll be able to balance it's in essence you know like balance or like juggling is not so much about doing so many things even though like you know in my book i talk about how to keep all your balls in the air successfully that is balancing before juggling and so that's the idea so if you are able to do that then the juggling will become easier Absolutely. The reason why I'm asking these questions is, you know, some people don't know what they don't know. And um, obviously in their life, everything is as is, is good as it is. Um, so they don't feel like they change anything because humans are creatures of habit. And the habits that they have formulated, um, you know, are the ones that then constitute how they live, um, you know, their life. And sometimes, you know, some habits can be very, very um, you know, detrimental. Now, your five dimensions um, of this health and um, you know, your five pillars of wealth, how do you then um, deliver this message to your, to your audience or to people that want to learn about this? Yep, sure. Well, with the five dimensions, so basically it's the well-being of the body, mind, spirit, social which is you know relationship with others as well as some um, relationship with yourself so basically in order to help people to do that you know i run different workshops whereby we go through each of them and we have um you know practical exercises and in terms of the five pillars of wealth um is to do with the word bliss b-l-i-s-s B stands for budgeting because that's really, in essence, the very first thing when it comes to wealth creation. A lot of people think of doing business as, um, you know, a way to earn money, but then budgeting is equally as important, if not more. Then, you know, L is to leverage, you know, you, to leverage how you can be using, um, you know, other people's technique, money and their resources so that you can collaborate. So even like what we are doing now, we are collaborating, um, you know, we are able to leverage on one another's expertise and that's leveraging in terms of um, uh, creating finances and then investing. Um, so that's an area that um, people can invest, whether it's, you know, to do with a lot of people think of investing outside of themselves, like, you know, investment, whether it's um, like nowadays, all this um, Bitcoin and all these other things that people invest in, that could be part of it. But then what I always advocate is to invest in yourself. So whether it's reading books, whether it's, you know, going to seminars, whether it's, you know, uh, learning about um, 
things that are, you know, on the internet, there are so many uh, things that we can learn as well. And then the other two is um, SS, is um, spending and saving. And that's an area of expertise that I, uh, I actually ha um, have um, uh, in terms of what we call shopping annuity. Shopping annuity is basically about an annuity of um, saving money through uh, converting your spending into earning. Now, all of that, you know, if you want to know more, obviously um, you can actually, you know, come onto my website or like my workshop. I can't really uh, delve into too much um, information within this um, short period of time. But um, in essence, with my business, the five pillars uh, of each of the health and wealth, while we are balancing our life, we can juggle with them. And it's very important. I, and I believe that, you know, if we are able to look at unlocking our wealth in terms of understanding that it's not only just about finances, it's also about unlocking our potential, our relationship, our personal development, then finances can come as a result of it. So that's the unlocking of wealth and nurturing your health is about, you know, the different areas of um, the five dimensions. And then finally is find your flow, find your flow. In order to find your flow, you need to have that balance. And, you know, I'm sure Prosper, you have had that experience as you, you know, work on your business. Time just passes by so quickly that, well, um, you just have had a great day. And that is find your flow. Absolutely. Well, these workshops really, really, um, you know, look like something to, to not miss out. How often are you conducting these workshops and where do you do them from? Okay, well, I, I run my workshop uh, once a month on the first Thursday of every month, first or second Thursday, depending on um, where I've booked. Um, I run them uh, in different places, depending on, well, at the moment, I've actually secured the first six months of different places. So, um, you know, I on my social media, I always sort of promote them and on my website as well. And I also run uh, master classes, um, which is once every quarter. So March june september and november and i run master classes and then i also run two retreat per year so absolutely well i mean obviously our platform is filled with entrepreneurs of all walks of life yes. and of all you know different flavors and genres um what sort of people would you find really comfortable to work with or would you know would um you know your your juggling really suit um, you know, so that people can actually eliminate themselves or raise up their hand to say, you know what, I think Kitty is my uh, person or go-to person when I want to juggle my health and wealth and Fantastic. my balls in the air successfully. Successfully, yeah, sure. Well, um, my target audience and people that I've been serving for the last few years have been business owners and entrepreneurs who find that they're really busy, but they could be very successful, but they just need to learn how to balance. So this is the first group. And the second group I've been invited to uh, speak and do workshop um, has been corporate business. So corporate um, company with people that are professional people that, you know, they work very, very hard. They may be, you know, people that are doing um, high level uh, work um, or CEO that they need to balance it as well. So, so mainly business owners as well as um, corporate people that are professionals. Absolutely. Now, just really going back to the work that you do, what, what sort of response or outcomes or testimonials do you get when people have, um, you know, gone through some of your workshops there, Kitty? Yes, well, in terms of um, the workshops, um, because my book was launched in August last year, I've only done a few, but in the past, I've been mainly focused on doing the weight management, and I still do that online. Um, a lot of people find that, you know, I work and walk alongside them, which basically is very important. I mean, even though we do nowadays with the workshop, it's one too many, when they need my support, I'm always available, whether it's through Facebook Messenger or through, you know, um, text messages. And obviously, the more they want my support, the more then, you know, I will be able to uh, just go through the in-depth training with them. 
Absolutely. And how long are these in-depth trainings? Because as you know, us entrepreneurs, we're really, really busy. We just yeah. want to really make sure that everything is aligned to also the time, the time. Um, so that we can actually balance our businesses in the process. Sure. Well, the workshop is four, uh, four hours, so nine to one, um, just, just a half day. And then if people want to go deeper, then the masterclass is one day. So it's generally on a Saturday, nine to five. And then the retreat is uh, you know weekend so that would be from uh, a Friday evening to Sunday afternoon and um, from there I generally nowadays don't actually see clients one-on-one -on -one, which I've been for the last seven years uh, but if they do want to have um, a one-on-one -on -one coaching then that will be another step further absolutely well you would understand now kitty we've just started a new year and a lot of people would have a lot of resolutions yes. to go along with their health their wealth and you know just them being there for the people that they actually love but some people wouldn't really know where to start so you know just in case somebody's sitting at the edge of their chair right now and they're really like i mean kitty is um you know that person i need to go and see what two or three things of advice can you actually just give somebody so they can actually, you know, get off their, you know, chair and actually uh, pick up the phone and ring you or click the links at the bottom that would have put so that they jump onto your next, um, you know, workshop. Okay. Well, my um, website is some um, healthwealthformula.com, healthwealthformula.com. And I also have a Facebook group, um, Juggling Health and Wealth, and it's kittychang.com. They can go on that to be part of my community. But I would like to um, really encourage people to think about what are the important one thing that they would like to focus on this year in 2018 uh, in terms of you know health and wealth, whether it's um, you know the area of uh, wanting to eat more healthily or they want to do more exercise or they want to sleep better you know so they can actually focusing on one thing and then they can slowly learn the other things absolutely so you if you really want to juggle you actually have to slow down yes, and yes. and actually look at because yeah like everybody else you know everybody's really trying to uh, make sure everything is running at the same time so your advice is to actually slow down um, you know, act in the now and actually stop and smell the roses because that's that's where the sweet spot really, really actually is. Well, exactly. Absolutely. So another line, balance before juggling rather than juggle before balancing. So in order to balance, find that one thing first and then slow down and then add on. Absolutely. Well, Kitty, I cannot thank you enough. And if you're watching this show right now, you're probably a busy person just struggling with either your health and you probably feel an imbalance in your life and maybe you're just tired and you feel burned out or really you just want to be, you know, holistically healthy and, you know, living in wealth, but you just don't know where to start. We've just been talking to Kitty and she's written a book, you know, uh, juggling health and wealth and how to keep all your balls, um, you know, in the air successfully. She's conducting um, meetings and, um, you know, workshops the first Thursday of the month, is it Kitty, where you can actually learn how to be in balance and actually live um, um, a happier existence. Now, I'm going to be putting in all the links um, that we can put there and also how people can get the book first. Maybe that's where they want to start off from. Um, and also, you know, some of the social media links that you have there, um, Kitty. It's been, it's been phenomenal. And thank you so much for the value that you've brought into this show today and, you know, how you've opened up um, you know, this whole, um, you know, avenue for people to look out for people that can help them stay balanced in life. Thank you, Prosper, for having me on the show. I've been really enjoying chatting with you. Absolutely. Bye for now. Bye.